Hello my friends, welcome back to Legacy of the Meme. We are going to be going straight to Ravenscar, the carrier mission. Well, not straight there, we have to get uh, some Spear of Dune stuff. Guardian Shell is going to be really nice, just keep our memes a little bit more alive. And then we're going to grab whatever is here. Yeah, the Mirage seems to be our only option. I think the Mirage is going to do something. Maybe it'll be like the Adept where it can hallucinate. Maybe that's where the original Adept went. And we can just like throw Adept shades out. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how it'd be useful, but it'd be kind of cool. And then we are going to Ravenscar. The reason we're doing this is because if we unlock the carrier mission... Okay. I was going to say that I thought we were going to get the Ganthothor, and that if you look at the top of the screen, this mission is called Tassadar Teaches Driving. So I have... I have... An inkling about what this is. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> why, why are there science vessels? Oh God. What is happening? Let's get the money and then try to get some carriers building. They are just called Carrier, they're not called Ganthrothors, which I guess is normal. Most of the units have had the same base name. Um, we're getting the attack upgrade. What? Is that the dropship interface? One sec. Let's bar down here. Is this cargo? <laughs> I, I, they were very literal. The Carrier does in fact carry. That's good to know. That's actually that's actually really nice on this mission now that I think about it. That's really good. Because you gotta move a lot of stuff around and I got warp and reinforcements. Alright, let's clear this area of the map and then we'll figure things out. This has an ability on T. I'm gonna hit it. Target is too close. Oh, look at the mini-map. There's a big range indicator there. So Whoa! Whoa, Mirage, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's one way to use Graviton Beam. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's <laughs> That's an interesting ability, isn't it? That's quite strong. <laughs> I guess, I guess we're going to be lifting things from now on. Okay, we need to figure out this Ganthothor thing, though. It's got, it says, when I press T, it says, Exitar, execute Tassadar Maneuver. You can't see that under my head in the microphone stand, but it is, absolutely says, execute Tassadar Maneuver, and I have a feeling I know what that means. But the radius circle is really big, and that seems to be the minimum. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab this guy. And we're going to bring him over to the bonus objective. Oh, yeah, we get this money while we wait. I hit the ability. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's insane. No, Tassadar. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it at all. Oh, so we can load these guys up and put them in the carrier. We're gonna have to get a full carrier for the final one. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna play the rest of the mission normally. Well, I am gonna get the Torin Marine. That's gonna be the next thing. Is we're gonna unlock Torin Space Marine. See what that does. Then we're going to clear through the rest normally, then we're going to fill this up and we're going to get throw the last core with a fully loaded baked potato or whatever. So the Mirage makes little dudes when he gets hit automatically. Do the full dudes? I can't tell if they do damage or not. Uh, let's attack this. Oh, it does do damage. Uh, it does. It does a damage, which isn't that good, but it does damage, which means that it gets target priority. And it tanks. That's actually pretty good. Is this a viable unit? The Mirage seems deep. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. The ability to just turn off enemies. Uh, I could have phrased that better. The ability to 
disable enemy buildings by picking them up is very good. Can we not lose this? That's good. Oh, guys. Okay, that was a little bit suspect. We're gonna have to get some batteries for that. Get another carrier under production. Yeah, uh, we don't have a forge, so I guess we'll just go batteries for safety. And then we gotta put in the Konami code, that is integral. So you start at this position, and then you put in the code. It can be a bit confusing. So we go up. And it's gonna take a little bit, but it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. Then we go up again. And then we go down twice. Oh, we could have used the carrier. Oh, I forgot about that. And I want to do it really quick because I have found in the past that if you delay, it uh, doesn't work sometimes. It's an inconsistent secret. So I just want to be really, really fast because that seems to be the most reasonable way. So we're going to have to go left, right, and then left, right again. And then the button should appear and he will spawn right here. And even if he's not changed, I mean, he is a meme on his own, so I'm not going to complain. Two more presses. Theoretically, I should have gotten autogas before doing this, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, hello. So that was up, up, down, down, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, and then we'll hit start. Please appear, button. Please appear. No? Oh, I must have messed it up. Oh, I don't know. I've had this issue before where I just, I can't get it to work. Do we have to hit rally all probes? Oh, no. I'm an idiot. Uh, well, someone in the comments will be able to tell me exactly what I did wrong. I apologize, guys. I will, uh... After I record this, I will head into this and test it again, and if there is a fix, I will put it at the end of the video, and if not, uh, then I couldn't figure it out. I'm so sorry. We're gonna go continue to clear and get stuff working. Let's just push. Even one Mirage is gonna be pretty darn good here, but I think I actually want more, because the ability to lift these buildings is gonna be insane. Yeah, absolute madness. And then we can just drop these guys to help with the push. I guess there's a bunch of siege tanks, which means that it's not that great, but whatever. Then we can get all the money up here, which means we don't even really need this base. We can just move on. Wow. All of these units are both hilarious and actually legitimately solid. I really like the carrier. The f just the ability to carry stuff is actually absurd. It's really nice. It completely changes how this mission works, and I think it makes it a lot more fun. That's awesome. What a good, good decision. Uh, maybe I'm going to get some Kaidaran monoliths. Oh, I don't have the forge, yeah. Okay, let's uh, head over here and get the bonus objective while we are waiting. Then we gotta head back because I'm afraid of getting counterattacked during all of this. So can we lift, cannot target destructibles. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, we got a shield overcharge, and then we got a little bit of friendship to help out. Where'd the raids go? Uh-oh. Do we want to kill this? Or, hmm. I guess we'll bring the Mirages over here. They'll pop friends out a lot. As long as we can just keep adjusting their target to do Mirages. Yeah. And then we'll lose this. No! Wow! The Mirage is awesome! It's like super, super tanky! Let's get a uh, Kaidaran Monolith or three in order to make sure that we don't die. 
because we don't have global presence, which is just a shame. Three seems pretty good, though. With the shield batteries, we have to keep them nice and healthy. That's going to be a lot of firepower against these objectives. I think we're actually going to beat this mission in a pretty timely fashion. This one can drag on a lot of the time. But with the way things are going here, I don't know. We can walk over here, we can clear it out. And then we can head over here and clear it out. Then we'll fill up our tank of uh, people and we will Ganthothor the end. Easy peasy. Let's uh, put this here. I guess we'll save the warp in for later. We'll just do it directly into the fight. We should be able to immobilize all of their buildings with the insane building pickup ability. <laughs> hey, an attack wave, nice. And the BCs don't actually hit very hard, which means they're gonna make a lot of little copy dudes that then tank without actually hurting the, uh, without hurting the mirages too much. Oh, this is cool. I love it when things just, like, are unique and interesting, but they also work. We're gonna shields up right here. We lift the buildings. <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh, dude, there's a huge area under that. I had no idea. That's insane. Why does that even exist if no one's ever seen it? <laughs> I feel like we're exposing its secret. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to be lifting that part, but we're going to. Oh, dude. Rally the probes back. Get some friends. Oh, we gotta... We gotta unload our carriers. I forgot to do that because it's not a thing I've ever had to do before. <laughs> I can't believe... <laughs> it's dead in the air! That's so good! Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, sorry, friend. You require my skill. Then we can get this money on the floor. We can head over to the right. We're going to grab this base just in case. And I think we won't really need... Oh, yeah, there's a place at the top that we still have to go to. I forgot about that. The mirages are... They're so good! The Mirage is usually by far and away the worst Phoenix variant, and I actually think it's the best now. The ability to lift up buildings is so absurd. Absolutely bonkers. This is lovely. We're gonna get some more Mirages. We're gonna continue mining, and I think that we're gonna find happiness in life for the first time ever pretty soon. This is awesome. I don't think we want any more upgrades. We just want to kill. Oh, another attack wave. This one is mostly anti-air, which is nice for me. Or rather, mostly anti-ground. Good thing... So everyone yells at me all the time to build static defense, and then I tried listening once, and they don't have a single kill. It's just, this is what happens when I actually build static defense, and that's why I don't like it. <laughs> because it doesn't do anything, and it's very expensive. But if you don't build it, then you really wish you did. There's never a happy medium. <laughs> oh, Kydarens. You might get a kill by the end of this, who knows. Alright, so the way that we want to approach this is... We're going to... I guess we want a shield overcharge. Let's wait till we have 125. That seems to be the reasonable amount because we're going to shield overcharge, dive in, drop our forces, lift everything, and then target the enemy. I guess we don't need to target them down. We just need to murder them normally. Yeah, there we go. 125. Go, go. Shields up. These guys in. Unload. Unload. Warp and reinforcements. <laughs> this is the stupidest useful army I've ever seen. It just, it works and it shouldn't, <laughs> but it's like legitimately great. Oh man. 
Alright, take that down. Let's get out of here. Load up, boys. And then we bring the carriers back over here. We get these. And I think that's enough of that. Uh, make sure I have enough probes to load into the Ganther Thor. Which one is it? It is this one that is going to be our hero. I really hope this works because I don't really have a long-term plan after this. It's just going to be fire the Ganthothor Sudoku cannon and hope. We should be able to get this many. Oh, they're going to get kills. Nice. I mean, the carriers would have been over to help anyway, but they got some kills. <laughs> they didn't do a whole lot. They just got targeted down. It turns out Banshee's hit really hard. Oh, not my healthy one. Or not my health. Whatever. He was the chosen one. We're going to wait for 75 energy. We're going to do the warp in. We might as well read tooltips while we're here. Can load ground units into it. Can use execute task star maneuver. Minimum 50 casting range. Visible on minimap. Upon targeting an enemy, carrier accelerates to a ludicrous speed. Rams itself into the enemy, dealing lethal damage. Repair drones are on loan from Stepman. Got it. And then we'll check out the Mirage. I don't think that this helps, but... Orca, I'm, I'm reading tooltips right now, bud. Uh, thank you. You now lift buildings, but not units. Phasing armor creates a hallucinated copy instead of making Mirage invulnerable. I think that's awesome. It's really fun, and it's unique and different. So we're going to send all these across. Skim the top. There's going to be some turrets and stuff, but that's fine. Our little copy dudes are going to soak shots. We can... Just lift and lift to ignore damage. Get engineering paid. <laughs> and then we send the Ganthothor. Wait, how does it work when it's lifted? <laughs> Dude, it goes across the entire... Oh, wait, it can be killed? Shields up. We, uh, we got Guardian Show for a reason. Yes! <laughs> it didn't get the destruction animation. There we go. We must strike now. <laughs> oh thank you guys for watching this was beautiful i hope you enjoyed the ganther thor i think it's too strong to use i don't see a mission where we can reliably use this in a reasonable fashion it's gonna be too strong like you do it on the host it's just gonna be overpowered it's so amazing I hope you enjoyed the episode, though. I will see you tomorrow with another exciting episode where we go to Slain and we get the Void Ray. Hope to see you then. Peace.